In this video lecture, I am going to show that sin 50 into cos 85 equal to 1 minus root 2 sin 35 divided by 2 root 2. So, this we need to prove that 1 minus root 2 sin 35 divided by 2 root 2. So, here let's take the LHS left hand side sin 50 into cos 85. Then after there you need to multiply with the numerator and denominator with the 2. So this is now 2 sin A into cos V. This is based on this formula. So there you need to use here sin A plus B plus sin A minus B. So that here sin 50 plus 85 plus sin 50 minus 85 divided by 2. So sin 50 plus 85 that is 135 and this here minus 35 that come then after here we know the formula sin minus theta that is equal to minus sin theta okay so that here plus minus minus that come and sin 135 minus sin 35 then after the next is here we need to get 35 only on the right side so this sin 135 we can write sin 180 minus 45 so if you subtract this one so this is equal to 135 okay and the next is sin 180 minus theta that is equal to sin theta and here sin 180 minus 45 that is equal to sin 45 degree and the value of sin 45 that is equal to 1 by root 2 so here you can see sin 45 minus sin 35 divide by uh, 2 thereafter put the value of sin 45 that is so here putting 1 by root 2 minus sin 35 there 1 is hidden so take the LCM that come root 2 so root 2 is the LCM then here that come 1 minus and there root multiply root sin 35 divide by 2 then after this 2 multiply with root 2 then you can get here 2 root 2 so 1 minus root 2 sin 35 degree is the answer of this questions so this is the most uh, simplest way we can achieve the output by taking the LHS so one time going to repeat this all so take the LHS then multiply with the 2 then apply this formula okay this formula you need to apply 2 sin into cos p then after do the calculation then you can get here 135 so here sin minus 35 then after 135 that we can change 180 minus 45 that is equal to sin 45 so you should remember this sin 180 minus theta that is equal to sin theta then after here put the value of sin 45 then or do the calculation then you can get these terms so this is the way we can achieve the output or prove this question so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you